everyone. Uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome back to another food review featuring me because I have to eat the food. <laughs> I'm your host, Phoenix. And uh, last time I did one of these, I brought you guys s'mores ramen that I got at Walmart for 50 cents and it tasted like it was 50 cents worth. So uh, this one is a bit different though. <laughs> While I was at Cracker Barrel with my good old friend Jolene, we were just walking around like the little gift shop area before we went to go take our, like, go up and get sit down and eat and everything. Uh, there was a candy section, and in the section was a bag of cotton candy. Now, if you guys know me, I love cotton candy dearly. And also going along with that, I love Dr. Pepper very dearly as well. <laughs> So after we got sat down, ate our like breakfast, and then returned to the gift shop, it was still there. So I decided to buy said candy, and here it is. Let me go grab it. All right, this is a bag called Dr Pepper Cotton Candy, the sweet taste of Dr Pepper, and it expires on January twenty fifth of two thousand twenty five. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I wanted to eat it for a while, but I knew I had to record it. So here it is. It was three dollars and forty nine cents at the, the Cracker Barrel. It's got a hundred and ten calories, um, no protein. Uh, it's got sugar, FDAC number forty, blue, yellow. All right, so this is gonna be sad. I'm supposed to have about three servings per container. Uh, this is for one Phoenix uh, size serving. <laughs> So I can't wait to eat this. Let me go get my little scissors. This should be around here somewhere, actually. Not around here. Hold on. Get the scissors. I was over there my teeth in. Alright. Alright, I did not need scissors. Alright. Okay, it... That does not smell like Dutch pepper. It smells like a soda. But also not. <laughs> Let me take out the whole thing without making a mess of the sugar. Oh god, it's like... There, there you guys go. You can see the size of it in here. It would not. It looks like a little tag fill in there. Awesome. But here it is. This is what it looks like. It's like a nice reddish color, which is looking orange in the camera, but it's fine. Can't wait to try it. I mean, I love both. I love cotton candy and Dr. Pepper, so I don't see why you wouldn't combine the two. Let me put some of this back in the bag. Okay. I took out a piece. You could say it's one piece. <laughs> All right. Okay, hold on. It kind of does taste like Dr. Pepper. If I didn't know, if you didn't tell me, like if you just told me like, hey, this is a soda brand cotton candy one and try it, I would have guessed this tasted like Coca-Cola. Specifically diet Coca-Cola, like it has that aftertaste of drinking diet soda where it has like that, like you feel the sugar and then bam, it's got that weird taste to it at the end, so. That's what I would have guessed, huh? You get the fuzziness. Like you just took a sip of, of like like a like a dark soda. It doesn't hurt my teeth, so there isn't a lot of sugar in these bites, which is nice. This is really good. It does taste just like soda. I wouldn't say it's on the level of like straight up Dodge Pepper because uh, I mean, this is tasting more like a Coca-Cola, but it's still like they're both technically dark sodas, so maybe I'm just missing the mark a little bit, so. Very good. It's got the color of a Dr. Pepper, you know, like that nice little red that the that the, the can normally has, infused a little bit of the dark. There are little flakes in here. This is beautiful. I think they nailed this as pretty good as they can get, because these aren't very common. For them to take like a brand and plus another brand, you know. So I, I know what I would.
would say this is a solid like eight, you know? I think maybe just like the, the flavor needs a little bit of work on because it, it does just taste like Diet Coke and whatnot. But am I gonna eat this whole thing? Hell yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Now, I don't know where you would find this other than a Cracker Barrel. Maybe you can find this at like Walmart or something, I don't know. But this is really good. This is Phoenix approved for weird shit that I put in my mouth. Don't take that out of the <laughs> But anyway, thanks for another food review. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.